dress a lot. It's just something special, like, because we got so much talent here. I love them boys. <laughs> and just the bond I built with them boys. Past four years is just crazy and just how fast it went. Like I always been saying, I feel like my team class is just different. To Tayon Fleet Davis, and he's in the end zone for the touchdown. Tough. Fighters. And it's intercepted in the end zone by Jacorian Bennett. My senior class, we're relentless. Steps out of a tackle. A hurdle and a touchdown. I would describe our class as resilient. To win the game. And the kick is good, and the Terrapins have won it. All different types of playmakers all across the board, but all in all, a lot of great guys. I'm gonna keep these guys in my life for the rest of my life, so. A lot of us in this class, man. It's like, early on when we first got here, we didn't know we was gonna play as much as we did. And being able to play a lot and then play a lot with your brothers, the guys you came in with, just, it just gave you different excitement out here, man. <laughs> we got a lot of guys, and I love them boys. Those, those are my brothers. And I'm, I'm glad I got to spend my four years with them. We've been through so much during four years in playing college football. So I, I think we're just, we're really close. The adversity that we face, I feel as though it shows the resiliency and what being a Terps stands for. I want to look back on my Maryland career as my growth stage as a player. Significantly, I feel like I've grown as a person. I've learned how to deal with adversity and turmoil. Like when things aren't going your way, how to, you know, continue to push through and just keep fighting. Really, that's just been a, something that I had to really learn how to do here. I've learned about myself that I'm willing to accept new challenges, that I won't quit, willing to learn and adjust to any situation or role, enjoying every day and trying to make the best out of each day. We got y'all, come on, play. we got y'all. All in all, just my growth as a leader. Kind of came in more of just kind of like a lead by example guy, and then I kind of learned that people trust what I'm saying, people uh, really look to me as a leader, so being able to be more vocal, stepping out of my comfort zone, talking in front of the team, I feel like that's kind of where I've grown the most. Hey, I love all y'all boys, man. When I first, uh, really got the chance to start and really just show how like my energy can affect the whole team. It showed me that like, if I'm that vocal leader and I'm that type of person that brings energy, everybody gonna pick up off of it. As time went on, you know, I just, you know, started to pick up and realize that, yeah, my time is coming to an end. So how do I want to leave my name left behind here at Merlin? I want to be remembered as a hardworking dude that always gave it his all and put in the work while he was here. I want to be known as the guy that made the most out of this opportunity. Somebody that, that worked hard, that was selfless and always for the team. A person that just gave it all they had and just playing the game that they love. A guy that was the same person every day and a guy that taught somebody something else that they could pass down. I want to be a good example for this future, not only kickers, but future specialists, future football players here. Somebody who came to work every day uh, with a relentless attitude, handled their business, uh, never complained, and just wanted everybody around them to be better and uh, help them be better. We talk about imposing our will, right? I want to be remembered as a great leader, you know, that guys can remember, and also you can call on me, even if it's not about football, and even after when I leave. I want to also go down as a nice, uh, versatile running back here and make an explosive play when we need it. We'll give it across yes. to Davis, yes. and Davis down yes. to the five, dice for the how edge run, the ball. In. Touchdown, Teon yes. Fleet Davis. My favorite memory of beating ranked Texas, first collegiate touchdown, I will never forget it. Playing in FedEx and we beat Texas, that was my first big win here. I uh, made some plays, so that was kind of my welcome to college football moment. We came in underdogs. Um, we had beat them the year before, but nobody thought we could do it again. The way we won that game, you know, what we were playing for, too. For us to bounce back and play for our brother against a ranked team. Just the way it played out, everything leading up to it, it was a big, it was a big moment for all of us. Favorite memories? Uh, beating Penn State. Yeah, to go to Happy Valley and do what we did, well, that was phenomenal. We're going home!
obviously beating Penn State. Uh, that was one that I've always wanted to do my whole entire life. Um, <laughs> my dad being a Penn State fan. Of course, I'm gonna say interception with Penn State. Like that was that was great. Favorite memories? Probably the West Virginia game because that was when I had my first uh, career pick. We all just was locked in and really knew what we had to do. The crowd was crazy. That was definitely the craziest crowd at home to have been a part of. Uh, my favorite memory was seeing friends and my brothers on the team, you know, just go out there and have fun, playing with Tay, seeing Tay's first scores, seeing Carlos work hard and get his again. One of the top moments is seeing Chig do his like those moments are just so great. That's really what I'm, what I'm most uh, clinging to and most like just proud of to be a part of this brotherhood. I feel like a lot of times when you say team, that kind of only relates to like when you're doing like team activities or on the field and stuff like that. But no matter where I go, we all got each other's backs and uh, we'll look out for each other no matter what. That's kind of what sets a family apart from a team. This uniform, this all we got, man. We ain't bring nobody else with us, man. Let's go, man. Three on three, man. One, two, three. We're, we're brothers, you know. Uh, when I hear Maryland football family, I just think about you doing anything and everything for your brother, you know, for them to succeed and just giving all you got, and they'll give you all they have. Being part of this family, you can just call one of the teammates and just bond and talk about anything, because at the end of the day, this college bond, you'll never get back. And you know, we, I spent a lot of time here creating bonds that would never be broken. The different backgrounds and where everyone came from, everyone just gets along together. We click, we bond, and it's just amazing to be here. Like, there's no words I can describe that. Hey, you know, we came out here to do, let's go. This brotherhood, it just feels good to do it with your friends, you know. It's hard to lose, hard to win, but it all like makes it feel okay when you're doing it, you know, for someone that you really care about. But just being able to have those moments outside of really football, it, just having that atmosphere and having everybody around me, I'm just gonna miss that so much. Yeah, I'll definitely just miss the locker room. I miss the locker room talks. I'll just miss being in the locker room with them. I mean, that's what everybody says, but it's the truth. Like, what we miss is the like, conversations in the locker room the funny things that happen. You know, whether it's before workouts, before practice, before games, I mean, we're always joking around. We got a lot of comedians on the team. That'd be the, really the most fun one. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Super funny guys. Everybody being themselves, acting a fool in the locker room, stuff that you can't really recreate outside of this. You know, you'll never find this college experience again. I miss my brothers. I'm playing for something more than myself. I'm playing for them. And the fact that we're still together, still pushing. We fight for the betterment of the family. We fight for the betterment of our culture. The culture that we have like started to build. It's a culture thing. It's just, it's a lot more energy. It's a lot more not giving up and really maximizing your time when you get the chance. The mentality, the mentality of it and the bond that, that we started to build, coming together, hanging together. Just the focus, our attention to detail has really gone up and at the end of the day we're trying to win we're trying to put maryland on the map we're trying to change everything that uh, we wanted to do that was my whole thing uh, committing here i felt like coming to this program the guys we had uh, we knew that we were going to build something special and i feel like that's what we're doing guys really just want to come in and kind of latch on to our goal that we have set and uh, change the lineage of maryland football i also think it's you know it's just amazing that we get to you know be that class be the pillar that changed the trajectory of the program the next few years, we're going to see this team, you know, just take over. So I think that's where my pride lies in this program. We're going to look back and just say uh, we're the class that set up uh, future steps for the younger guys, you know, behind us. You know, I'm proud with what we have done here. I'm glad that we are able to leave something special. Like, once you got here and really just started to feel like what we were building here, it's like you wouldn't want to be anywhere else.